Hello and welcome back to another episode of XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Eiken and today we're jumping right into uh, the good old uh, Against the Hive campaign. It is time for Operation Doomfall where we need to hack an enemy terminal. I brought the Prime team and um, a few special guests with me. Parts of the Prime team are currently on a covert ops mission so I substituted uh, with uh, Noxus and uh, Hayward so we are running two Marines for now uh, it seems that they are really strong classes as well so we're running double Marines we're also fighting yet against in the snow there's a nice little high ground here so let's see how well this is going to go Taking our front line. I trust in your command. Oh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Hopbite somehow snuck through this. So the moment that we're getting up here, that'll be that'll be a reveal. Wow, they blocked high ground from our uh, from our options. I call that poor sportsmanship. I got high ground over here, so jokes on you. You cannot take the high ground out of Sykin's gameplay. That's not how it works. Running. All right, moving to there. We're going to open that next turn. I'm all over it. Good to go. Solid copy. And we are sprinting towards the target. Well, it seems we don't need to even wait. And it also seems like we're now fighting against heavy mechs. See, that's the problem right there, right? Okay, well. I stand corrected. That is the actual problem. Heading there now. Okay. So out of curiosity, this would possible uh, would be possible. And this would be a major, major hit. I like the idea. So, two packs for the price of one. Let's go, baby. Heavy Mech will very likely go into Overwatch. No, I uh, see. That's what I like about XCOM, the predictability about uh, what's going to happen. Nice. Disorient for two turns. That's not bad, 100% chance. Keep that in mind. That might help us. In the meantime, could we get sort of at least a 30% chance to work with you? 45 isn't bad. Um, Let's get it. Good. First uh, failsafe of uh, the run is a free action. And I want the Mac. Well, it's not supercharging. That was a good attempt, which means uh, the only logical move now is Comet Protocol and starting to get it down. Two screen rounds. Nice little hit, good job. Oh, 
And I think we're just going to kill it. Okay, the cat is out of the bag. Might as well move in. And start penalizing these guys. We need to get the shield bearer shredded. Look, I mean, that's a six a person hit grenade. Not even on good days you're getting those, so I'll just waste one more. That is a fantastic hit. Might as well pull another pack, but that would be okay. be able to clean all of them up. Holy shit, that is a lot of damage. We used a lot, but being able to convincingly take out two massive packs with not all, even all of our actions is a feat in itself. I'm actually quite proud of how that one played out. Next turn now will be recover and regroup. Um, infantry moves forward. We still need to push. Can't just rest. Okay, um, putting eight protocol there will be helpful for the next round, I guess, because this will be our way in deeper into the map. Might as well prepare with a few actions. Sure, how we are triggering them, but okay. There is another pack, one that we don't want to trigger. Is this already triggering? No, it's not. Two cold ACs. Um, and we're in semi good cover. Don't don't like uh, the odds of it, so although this is going to cost us one shot, I like the better cover.
This might trigger the other pack. Luckily it doesn't. We're just going in. And <clears throat> deal with uh, the purifier up here. Tell you what, I <clears throat> definitely would, uh, we, I should have done that beforehand because that disorientation prevents the codices uh, from uh, duplicating. It is as if they are flashbanged. Yep. We didn't lose anything because this little move from Hogbite barely lost uh, his uh, his uh, cooldown so in a sense we lost something but really not a lot okay moving up not too far but a little bit and i think we're in a perfect world Yeah, that's that's a good one. Kill, open, and very much open. That's good. Puppeteer will reg uh, regret his life choices. A little bit extra fall damage for good measure. Doesn't trigger, we already know that. And we want to go and kill the Codex. I'm willing to use teamwork for that. Very nice display of skills for our operatives this turn. I am with you. And I think Taurus needs to move in. Uh, I was hoping I could squeeze out another overwatch shot uh, with that. The reality is I couldn't, but Horus can move to uh, this uh, safe uh, position there. I just realized the explosion could have destroyed the rooftop of positions that could almost see the target I know that here we can definitely see it but it's a very dangerous position Location confirmed. not sure if we can see it from that position apparently we can 
which is also the reason why I would want to play it safe. I know there's another pack and there's absolutely no reason to immediately push forward. want to go over here that it, for me it's too risky peck is still there maybe moves in we don't know nope but that's okay Because we brought our hacker. Okay, fantastic. We're good to go. Advent troops spotted. We've confirmed successful acquisition of the advent files. Eliminate Not exactly sure why we're pulling them now, but okay. A grenade would be fantastic. A grenade would be so good now. any form of cover removal for that uh, for that purpose I think we could get the shield bearer before it uh, starts becoming annoying Spectre is a bit out of our control but he's definitely in kill range now and we're doing a, a very nice fire suppression here all three of you are suppressed <clears throat> might as well nail that mutant here to the wall <laughs> oh yeah baby that's a good one. Um, I will send you some regards from my bold caster. Back in. Get it together. We're using blinding protocol because I don't want uh, the Spectre to use his absolute retarded... I don't know if I'm even allowed to say that word. Uh, is absolute uh, annoying uh, clone ability, Shadow Step. Very nice hit. To be honest, a fantastic hit. Fabulous. And we're going to do a little trick, which is the block the ladder so no one else can come up trick. Advanced auto loader, that's good. 
the actual living F is that? Four chameleons. New way. All right, Perry. This is going to be very, 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 very painful. I'm not even sure if we can just skip and run out of here. I mean, seriously. I don't. I haven't brought a battle scanner with me. I don't know. I think that was the parry of uh, of the chameleon. Not sure. I'm, so far we haven't taken any damage, but I'm pretty certain we dealt a lot of damage. Yeah, he was suppressed at least. Okay, Hogpite is regenerating. But we have a lot of chrysalids to deal with and I have a very very tough decision to make shall we stay or shall we go five of them i don't know what the right answer is guys there's definitely a problem here so what i could do is could start to move around and take a look if the chameleons have moved up and essentially take it from there problem with the chameleons is Okay, this here is jittery, and I know there is one standing here. Do we have other jitters? Just trying to find out where they are. Maybe the right answer is try to kill <clears throat> as many as you can and come back to the rest of the team and then go with an overwatch. This is so futile, we need battle scanners. Okay, one is here. One is here, two, uh, two of them are here. And one is here, three. Could try to spot them out actually by moving down. Would that make my life easier? Potentially. How much damage? Seven, okay, I could kill them at least. One, two, okay. So if I go down here, ha <laughs> ha! Oh, oh boy! Oh, okay.
not good for, for so many reasons okay the chameleons just have become our main threat Okay, it seemed to have moved to here, fair enough. And let's just set this hunter up as well. I will need kind of a reaper play here. Reload. And can we nail the other one? No, we cannot. 40% on the mutant. That's not good. Okay, we have that other chameleon there. Sure thing. Moving over here. Amory prepares with an explosion, just in case something comes in. And I think we're just going to overwatch. Okay, let me let me ask the following question. If we were to place a really big, fat, juicy Flashbang. Could we hit two? Oh yeah, we could. That would take one of them out. This turn is all about survival. Flashbang, by the way, also suppresses uh, the mutant's ability to counter attack so if we could hit the guy once that could be a kill nice all right now we're talking reaper into infector kill another chrysalid chameleon holy what what kind of what kind of treachery is this? You can't have an uh, actions during my turn. Moved over there. Okay. bit of payback the thing is down to eight hit points good we got one of them down Fifty can't do that. Tired of waiting around. 
We had it under control until the enemies decided to be problematic. The aliens, really, really bad news. Okay. Luckily we chose full cover. What a massive problem overall. Come on, get back in the fight. Yeah, we. I think we need to be topped off actually. He will regenerate two more hit points at the beginning of his turn. But if he needs to frontline, let's not. Let's not optimize something. Okay. We know there are more uh, chrysalids here. Let's figure out where they are. Effing chameleons. I'm very sorry that I need to resort to these methods, guys, but it's one of those campaigns where the slightest of errors already costs you dearly. That looked suspicious. Okay, one is over here. I think Metal Fake 2 might be over here. Here I come. Glorious. Okay, can we get another chameleon? Nothing, nothing. Okay, well, that was not as good as I expected. I wanted to have a clearer hit somewhere. Just trying to figure out where these guys are. Back here. Is it clear? No bueno. It was just a glitch. Miracle. 
Okay, so. Hope I wouldn't take any explosion damage. Uh, we're just... Hope I positions himself here in the middle of the explosion. Offers himself up as a good target. One. We still have four of them left. Two. Three. Oh yeah, and the Spectre, of course. That's a nasty position. But we need to deal with <coughs> chameleons anyway. So might as well get rid of uh, Hayward here. Or oh, Hayward's uh, Shadow, rather. If you say so. Good. It's dead. It has to be dead. Okay, hawk bite. I would really like to find these guys. But it is more difficult than anticipated. These are ambush predators, so of course they want to remain hidden. Ah, oh, what a stupid mission. Just go for the Spectre and try to kill that one. We definitely cannot, uh, cannot move too far away from one another. Okay, I did a bit of off-camera scouting. No indication where those enemies might be. My last information is that two of them were here. One was here, one somewhere, and the Spectre back there. That's the problem. We're dealing with a lot of invisible enemies. So what I will do is we'll take... Oh, that's not too bad. I was about to say we're going to take kind of a step in that direction and are overwatching. But with that chameleon, we might be able to send a hog bite in. Say if we hit it and then just go back out, that wouldn't be too bad. Something along those lines. Or we're even parrying. 
Nice hit. Wait, what exactly was happening here? Oh, 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 okay, well, that's not good. Spotted one of them out. Not a hit. Um, yeah, that's not a great hit either. Could move to here. Let's do this. And a protocol. There's a decent chance that he won't be hit with that. Okay, just giving Hawkeye an opportunity to tank. Overwatch, Overwatch, and we're tanking that. Good, that's a parry. Ooh, no, come on, hit it. Uh, not good. Oh, there's the miss. Fantastic. What? Are you kidding? No, no way. You, you are officially kidding me, right? This is not happening. But well, at least the mine worked. No effing way. No way. Oh, okay. Well, the aid protocol is the true winner here. Can't Reaper yet. Okay, that's good. Let's reload an overwatch. Oh, I can combat protocol an invisible one. Uh, happy to do that. here we know there's another one here so might as well take advantage of it Arc wave hits two. Haha, <laughs> we killed two. Fantastic. But I think there's still one more chameleon here. So. Moving into solid cover into the middle. Bit of a clustering up, mainly because I don't know where that thing is. Right, 
Reveal into Perry. No, no, no. Damn it. Oh well. Um, yeah. Heal ourselves. And hopefully we can stun that thing. It's burning. That's definitely a lot of damage. Okay, we might be able to actually kill it. Um, Moving to here, point blank in your face. Good damage. Two shots, well. Let's spot out the sky. Which apparently I can do. That's perfect. And we're parrying again. Hawkbite is our bastion against uh, the chameleons. Memory moves up. It's that stupid thing. You want some more? Could use some ammo over here. And then ah, almost. Finally. Let's get into a flanking position. And this could be a kill. Or it could be just one short of a kill. Carried his reveal. That was good. Spectre might be the last enemy standing. Uses horror to drain some hit points. Our soldiers are suffering out there. We'll need to give them some time to recover when we get back. Is it clear? Noxus. It's taking a bit of a uh, beating here. Big deal. Ready to rock. Ready to rock. Good. Chameleons could out? still be around. That's the problem. I'm ready. Got it covered. Good to go. And our other problem is literally everybody was out of. Out of focus. Listen, there might be a last one standing here. Answer might also be no. I just don't know. How about it? There is another enemy. Oh my lord. Oh well what what a nasty mission. All Advent gene therapy clinics will be closed. Completely unacceptable to fight against uh, all of uh, the chameleons without any form of reveal. That was radical. Okay, so Taurus got the major rank unlocked. Love it. What do we do? 
covert infiltration allows uh, to remain concealed when squad concealment is broken. Uh huh. Grants the ability to suppress a target with your primary weapon. And provides a plus 10 aim bonus to shots if the target tries to move. And rapid deployment after activating the next support grenade thrown or launched um, does not cost an action. We are heavily skilled into um, a lot of. She has uh, cool under pressure and covering fire. So support with extra aim bonus sounds good. But we need to give her a different weapon then. Uh, this here is not going to work out for what we're trying to do. Rapid deployment isn't bad either, but we're not having a lot of support grenades, so she's really Overwatch focused, and we should use her as an Overwatch build. <clears throat> Unbreakable is so good, I love that, and I think we can even get it. But additional additional shredding for her wouldn't be bad either. So what do we have? Uh, equipped assets, grenades and uh, causing robotic enemies to take uh, mm, Additional damage, that's not bad. Incinerary grenades uh, can cause panic. And gas grenades can cause organic targets to be stunned for one action in their following turn. Hmm, that's actually quite interesting. I mean, we do have a gas grenade and I personally like them the most. Uh, so let's just go with that for now and we still have points left over bit expensive for blast padding but blast padding might be good demolition isn't bad either More explosion radius is great as well. Uh, I think, yeah, I think we're going to go with heat grenades because the extra shredding will be helpful. That's three shredding on her grenades. And unbreakable, we theoretically have other means of doing it, bonds as an example. And the only thing that really sucks at the moment would be mind control. Panic and stun would anyways be off because we have uh, something that counters it. So let's go with heat grenades. That's a great pickup. Noxus had that extra uh, firepower and I think light him up. Uh, with the two shots instead of one is exactly what we want to take. Since he's not in the prime team, I'll save a few more points. Uh, I want to really make the prime team super soldiers. Hate chameleons. I firmly and thoroughly hate them. Having these two soldiers continue to work together has paid off. They know each other well enough at this point that we can have them train as a pair for additional tactical capabilities. Very good. I knew that we wouldn't it wouldn't be taking uh, long until we someone is in the infirmary again. So yeah, jokes on you. That little optimization didn't really work out that well. Uh, we got 200 supplies to work with and I think we're going with marksman well that's good yeah 
we'll, we'll keep a couple of supplies in our back pocket. Those trainings are actually super helpful. So I wanted to build a radio relay and then continue our expansion into the Australian continent. Okay, well, another facility. Bond level 2 is reached, that's good. Do we have any other improvements? No. In terms of armory, prime team is thoroughly out of uh, action for now. And the secondary team isn't doing hot as well. I mean, these are the guys that are carrying the run at the moment. You can also see everybody's like bonded. It's a bit of an incestual relationship up here, but okay. Um, yeah, and these, guy, uh, these guys here haven't seen much, uh, much action, so we're going to change that and get more sergeants in. Yeah, we need to put in another power station anyways. And continue over here. No, wait, 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 do we, do we actually need to do that? We could put someone in here. What can I do for you, Commander? Um... We could put an engineer in here and what would be the alternatives resistance communications or workshop um, let's think that through resistance comms be a decent upgrade it's creepy hearing the chosen talk as if they were just like us for all we know they digital network is a no-brainer upgrade we'll take that um I mean we're not yet being shot down I am still but having the turrets and then resist uh, mm, having the turrets wouldn't be the, a bad idea either as to the limited resources and facilities available to me on board the Avenger I have to say it's taken some getting used to even with the ship's dampening you know, this year is going to give us maneuver, make it difficult to conduct experiments of any notable sensitivity. Okay, this is going to give us enough oomph to uh, go ahead. I think we're okay. Nice, we got advanced explosives finally. Unfortunately, no more cores left over. Which means you are freed up, Igor. And can help doing that. These findings will likely prove crucial to our ongoing efforts, Commander. Yes, Commander. Okay, we could go for Psyonix, but we said they are banned this run. Just like most of uh, the other stuff. So turret breakdown could be a quick win for us for resistance matrix. We could go for encryption and shadow chamber afterwards. Let's go with the turret the breakdown. Turret. That has never let me down. Defense matrix is always an easy, easy build. Yeah, that's bad, and I mean really bad because now the whole, uh, the whole poison grenade thing is out of the window, and they might even be immune to uh, the frost grenade. Need to test that. 
You'll need to pay close attention to these chosen, Commander. They each seem to have unique advantages in combat that I think they are. High royalty, a small feral chrysalid group contained uh, new Junal Crean is reported to be in this area. Reports state she might be heavily guarded and we should proceed with extreme caution, Commander. <laughs> what was I thinking when I said, you know, it's a good idea, let's just do this playthrough. I clearly wasn't thinking correctly. Research is progressing as expected, Commander. Uh, need that as well, the trooper for our um, battlefield beacon, uh, so that we can scan for the stupid cr uh, uh, for the stupid chameleons. That's a problem, but one that future Saiken has to solve. We are going to see that in the next episode. If you enjoyed uh, the fight against the invisible predatory foes, uh, then sneak up to the like button and ambush it. And see you in two days. Bye bye, guys.